Today we're gonna talk about how to ace, how to crush the ACT science section. And I'm giving you three of my best tips. Alexis Avila here at our office in Wellesley, Massachusetts. For questions or tutoring in person or online, visit preptandpolish.com or call us 781-753-9951. And remember, if you find value watching this video, smash that like button and click the subscribe button, click the bells, click all those bells to get the notifications for new videos. Now we're gonna talk about uh, tips to dominate the ACT science section. Now, if you're prepping for the ACT, you probably know that the last section of the test, the science section, tends to be the test section that uh, many students are not always prepared for. Uh, and that can come from a number of reasons. First of all, it's the last section of the test. So if you're not taking uh, the writing essay section, you'll have just done, uh, in standard time, 45 minutes for English, 60 minutes for math, you, uh, break, 35 minutes for reading, and, and then now another 35 minutes for science. A lot of times students become uh, very tired at this point and can get mixed results from the science section. So in addition, it's not that the science section is specifically about science, it's how we interpret certain information that can just that just happens to be labeled as science. So those students who are STEM learners might find the science section to be really challenging uh, and vice versa for those students who are not necessarily STEM students. They may, they may find it very easy. So when we're looking at both the strategies and approaches for the science section, I like to think of a couple of ways uh, that we can just work on improving and eventually acing this section of the test. Tip one is to have a simple recognition of the passages and questions, the answer types. You need to know how many passages there are, what types of passages there are, what kinds of questions to expect and to see, and also the types of answers. By doing this, by recognition and applying this knowledge, you shouldn't be surprised when a certain question pops up for any type of passage. In addition, I would say if you can recognize, for example, oh, this type of passage seems to show us an experiment, whereas uh, hmm, this, this passage is written out, so there's no graphs, there's no tables. How should I be approaching this, this one? By asking these questions along the path of the test, you're actually able to prepare yourself more so than, than someone who just goes into this section blindly. In addition to the types of passages that you see, the question types and corresponding answers are just as important. When looking at the question, is it telling me where I need to pay attention to? Is it telling me to look at experiment one, uh, at table three, or scientist B's ideas? These questions are gonna be are gonna help us direct us to the answer where I need to find it, or the answer choices might be indicative of where we need to look for. So by paying particular attention to these questions, those questions and those answers themselves, you can maneuver your way through the test. Tip two to consider is your time management on the section. So standard time for the science section on the ACT is 35 minutes and you have six passages. So that's less than six minutes per passage. So you really don't have a lot of time to answer uh, and, and you, between six and seven questions per passage. So that's a lot, you don't have a lot of time. So what we need to figure out and what we need to tell every student that we work with is to figure out what works best for you. Figure out what is your time that you need for each passage type, for each question type. If it's questions about biology versus physics, or chemistry, or earth science, how do we approach that? Are you comfortable with unknown material? Um, are you more in tune with graphs versus tables, uh, or charts, or figure analysis? It's really good to know how much time there is and how much time you need either for each passage or for certain questions, or just general time management skills to get you through the test unscathed. Tip three that we suggest is to be aware that the ACT science section will give you what we call outside knowledge questions. Now this is only gonna be a handful of questions. So worst case scenario, there'll be six questions in total that are uh, outside knowledge. 
This is based on certain chemistry, uh, biology, physics, earth science, astronomy rules uh, and principles that can crop up, crop up throughout the test, such as knowing uh, the boiling and melting points of water, the sizes of planets in our solar system, whether something is basic or acidic, and how to interpret a base or acidic pH scale. Similarly, you, you might need to know a little bit about genetics uh, or about dominant and recessive traits. Uh, certain terminology, such as control experiments or dealing with uh, homogeneous or heterogeneous pairings, it's important to be prepared that you might have to know some things before entering the science section. Finally, what I would say about these three tips, recognition of passages and questions and answer types, time management, and outside knowledge. These are just three tips and uh, there's plenty of others and I highly recommend that if you're working with a tutor or if you're working with us at Prepped and Polish that you ask about these tips and we're, ha we're happy uh, to discuss both in general and student specific tips that you may work to that may, might work to your advantage to improve your score for this section of the test. We have a lot of tips at our disposal. As I said many times before about the science section, it's really about understanding, interpreting, and analyzing each passage and what it tells you. It could be about uh, physics, it could be about biology, it could be about chemistry, but the main thing is, is uh, that it's still, uh, ask, what, you have to ask yourself, what can we determine from the given information? In my opinion, one of the more annoying questions beyond this what can we assess? Those questions are tough. What can we assess from this? So again, I would recommend talking to your tutor or talking to us at Prepped and Polish about what is the best way to generate certain strategies and approaches for these questions. And also get enough practice uh, in for them because I guarantee that if you see a passage about comets in the solar system, the likelihood is that you probably won't see another passage anytime soon about that same topic. So we really want to make sure that every student feels comfortable with whatever may come their way on the science section. So practice really makes perfect here. Best of luck on your ACT exam, especially on the ACT science section, and I'll talk to you soon.